Dear all, Namaste. Today, I will be describing about the blood supply of nasal septum. This is a very commonly asked question in university examination as well as in the Bible. The nasal septum has rich vascular supply from both the internal as well as external carotid system. You can see here, this is the internal carotid system and this is the external carotid system. The branches of the internal carotid system which supplies the nasal septum are anterior and the posterior ethmoidal artery, which are the branches of ophthalmic artery. They usually supply the upper part of the septum and the upper part of the lateral wall above the level of middle terminate. The branches from external carotid system are spinopalatine artery and greater palatine artery which are the branches received from the third part of internal maxillary artery. Greater palatine artery is a branch of descending palatine artery, passes through incisive canal to supply the nasal septum and the lateral valve. Superior level artery, a branch of the facial artery, also supplies the nasal septum anterior part. The branches from spinal palatine artery or nasal palatine artery, greater palatine artery, superior labial artery and the anterior artery they meet in the anterior inferior portion of the septum this is called Kieselbach's plexus and this area is called as little's area little's area is the commonest area where there is anterior nasal bleeding the arterial bleeding picking of nose is very common in children as well as in few adults in those conditions there will be bleeding from the Kieselbach's plexus or the little's area. Fingernail trauma is most common in the little's area and bleeding happens from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.